guys, welcome to today's video. Hmm. And another day in the drama of having teenagers. Hey! She took it from me first! It's not strong. Give it to me, please. Give it to me, please. Daddy, stop pulling down my drop it. Alright. So wait. Swear to God, if you whip me. Oh, it's flimsy. So yeah. So so uh, who remembers? In a recent vlog, I showed you that my stick, my flag, was totally destroyed. Penny destroyed it when I left it in the arena by mistake. And Sam said it's like destroyed, and it was destroyed. It was probably in like six pieces. He said it was unfixable. I fixed it. I'm proud of myself. I'm so happy to have it back. Oh my gosh, what is the problem? I didn't. The problem. What's the problem? Look. Stand back to back and I'll show you the problem. Back to back. Back to back. I'm like two inches taller. Back to back. Back to back. Turn around. Back to back. It looks like Sophie's growing so much, but she's actually still still like shorter than Gabby. And Gabby's 5'5". Five five. Are you 5'5"? Five five? Are you 5'5"? Five five? I have no idea. We got a case of the giggle juice right now. Oh my goodness. So I brought our feed pans up and cleaned them. I try and do this like once every two weeks. Are these a size nine? I try and do it every two weeks and that is done for today. Water buckets one week, my feed pans another out. week. My outfit for going out, sweater, pants, uh, sandals. Yeah. Sophia offered to give me her shoes. They are so dirty though, Sophia. But they're too big. What size I are said they? I will buy you new vans. What size are they? I will buy you new vans. Okay, what size are these? Those are size 10. I have big feet. Big feet. More, mostly. It's You're probably an feet, alien. My feet are wide. Yeah. That's why I need like a bigger size. Yeah, because they're not overly long. Nine, yeah. But um, my feet are wider, so yeah. I need bigger feet. Well, we are getting ready oh, yeah. to head out. I'm going to take you guys with us and we'll explain where we're going. I can't drive the car down to the horses because of the mud right now. Um, but I'm going to give this stuff to Gabby and she's going to go feed lunch. Recently at Costco, Sam made a huge purchase for show season. It's a new show season purchase. He got these umbrellas that are super sized for, for days. Oh. You can. For days that it rains, like we've been to shows before in the pouring rain and had to stand outside, and it, it was How the hell do you lock it? insane. It's called the shed rain vortex vent. That's the vortex vent right there. I oh, you can't lock it. it's all plastic though. Well, how do you keep it up? Yeah, just like that. Oh, well, anyways, that is one of the. <laughs> <laughs> I can. Woo! <laughs> That's talent. It's like a tent. And then a big gust of wind comes and I go. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, we bought those to scare the horses at the horse show. <laughs> but honestly, we're like preparing now, getting all the things ready that we need. Got it. All right, here, take this stuff down, feed hay, and let's get going. Sophie's still over there trying to open hers. <laughs> you don't need to show it now. You're like way behind. I need to. Oh, I got it. Finally. And Gabby's over here still trying to figure out how to do it up. Okay, this is how you use umbrellas. This one's weird. So, so you just press the button and let it go. Press, press the button and let it go. And there you go. There you have it. It's huge. Yeah, it'll fit all of us and our horses. The horses are down there like, oh no, what's happening? Penny's ready to run, you guys. <laughs> She's just staring. Yeah, you're next, Penny. We're coming down. Be careful with my flag. Be careful with my flag. A lot of you guys probably don't know, but we've been wearing masks and have a lot of mandates still, uh, COVID mandates in Ontario. Like, we've never um, stopped the whole COVID precautions. And a big change coming up in about another week or so. Maybe this week coming up. Next week. I should have grabbed a COVID. This week. I forget, next week? Anyway, we're losing the mask mandate, so soon we won't have to wear masks when we go out, which is super exciting. Oh, the horses are running. Oh my gosh, the horses are running. And they're my favorite sandals. Yeah. They're the best. What kind are those? Um, Bergen something? Birkenstocks. Yeah. Birkenstocks make different sandals now, let's see. Show them, are they like rubber? They're like, weird. Yeah, and they're Birkenstocks. But, but they're the best. I love them. Yeah. Thea loves them. 
and she wears them whenever I even if, when it's winter and long ago I was so different when I was raising my boys I believed like you had to look a certain way you had to wear a certain kind of clothes all the time you had to dress a certain way I believed it so strongly and I lived that with them and and even with my girls a little bit but as I've gotten older and learned and the kids are never gonna listen no, I didn't learn that my kids are never gonna listen. I learned how really none of that really matters and how being yourself and being comfortable and being who you are inside is the more important. So go out there and be yourself. I know it's really hard to do that if you're in like a school setting or a work setting or someplace where there are a lot of people and it can be even harder to try and stand out and be yourself when everybody else is trying to just like settle in and fit in. But if you're able to do it, you should do it because, because it is worth it. It's actually almost Easter and I can't even believe it. Oh No, it's Sophia with the dirt on her face. <laughs> Do you have dirt on your face, Sophia? I know, I love this. Yeah, well we don't buy expensive stuff. Oh, they're only 10 bucks. Actually, these are all so $104. cheap. $104. That's adorable. You know what my favorite one is? Oh, wait. Can you... That one's cute, but look at this. Is this a cow? Is this a cow? This is a... It's so cute. Look at its face. This is a cow. Well, this is a cow. Oh, yeah. This is That's a, a cow. sheep or something. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Gabby, stop. Oops, I killed oh, Gabby with the curtain. They have a horse. Okay, is this... What is this? I don't know what this is, but I love it. Yeah, no. Don't know what you are, but you stay there, cute thing. Oh, that's cute too. Oh, look at those big ones up there. Really cute. They're all so cheap. How come they're so cheap? You know, I'm definitely gonna get my dog in the Easter basket, and oh. she's gonna hunt. Hunt for Easter eggs? She probably would. Look at you guys. All the Easter eggs. Yeah. Look, and they have like glitter ones. Look at these ones. Do you hear the same price? Look at the blue ones. Plain ones. Polka dot and stripe. Yeah, I, I like know. these ones. All right, let's go, little girl. Let's see if we I'm can get Gabby off the cart. <laughs> oh, yeah, the heel exercise. Show them. Yeah. If you're an equestrian and you need to, like, get your feet to go down better. Here, hold my phone. I will do it. I will no, figure it out. My Gabby, right ankle off. goes down further than my left. Gabby, hop off. Really? Yeah. I'll show you how you need to do it. Uh -oh. Hold the cart. Hold the cart. Let go, let and go. oh, <laughs> I'm in love with this chair. I have no idea where my children went. I was about to sit in it, but then I got nervous. Like, what if it's not hooked up properly? I love it though. So I have lost my children. Lost them. I'm gonna try and text them and tell them I'm in the car. It's gotten to that age too. Like they go off together. They shop alone. They don't even need me anymore. Life is changing again. Like I remember making this video not that long ago saying like how much bigger they are and how they've changed. But anyway, so I had to get a bunch of stuff. And the thing that I mostly came for was this. I had to get a couple of bottles of it. It's mineral oil. Oh, wow. I did not know what mineral oil was used for. This is the biggest bottle I could get. And that's interesting. So you guys are probably wondering, this is like a laxative. It's a laxative. You guys are probably wondering, what the heck do you need mineral oil for, Laura? Well, I'm gonna tell you. I am gonna tell you because I've been learning a lot about horses and about this season and, and, and spring and wetness and how to fix our horses. And I've been learning a lot, you guys. I can't wait to tell you uh, what I learned and what we are doing to help our horses feet through this wet, crazy season. I am so excited to share it with you. But first I have to find my children. Found them. <laughs> they bought matching pants. That's so cool. That's I such a good idea. I size large even though I'm size small because I, I wanted them to fit really large. baggy. You want them to fit baggy? They're cute. Super cute. What else did you get? Just clothes? Oh, they're just, clothes. just pants. <gasps> what the heck? We got a package and I, Sophie opened it. She phoned Sam and Sam said it's for me. Can I open it? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, wow. It's another flag pool. I have a... Look at that part. 
Why wouldn't we use it as like a barn flag so that everybody can use it? Wow, Sam ordered that for me. Wow, what? There's there two? Oh, I love them. There's no flag though, but I have a flag. We got two eggs today. We've been getting three eggs every day and one of our Cochin chickens has actually started laying. Not today, but the last two days she's laid. So I purchased this stuff called pine tar at the tax store the other day. And I have this mineral oil and I'm going to put both of these together. And that is what it looks like. And I have another one over here because I diluted this pine tar half and half with mineral oil. So I have two containers, one for our barn and one for the boys barn. So now we are going to go down and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this stuff. Come on, Pen. Come on, Penny Pickle. Let's go. I love to call her and then see if she comes. <laughs> Because that's a bond, you guys. Especially with Penny, because Penny is literally not that kind of horse. You need help. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a friggin' <laughs> no! Whoa. Oh, no! Whoa, 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 don't Drop break it. her. Don't Drop it. Drop it. <laughs> Do not break her don't flag. Don't chase me. Did she come? <gasps> she came. <laughs> Such a good pony. They all came, but she's really afraid of this. I don't know where this mom. area, yeah, of course. But first, you have to groom her and cut her tail. I've been trying to get her don't tail let cut. Me with scissors. Well, you're having scissors. Just don't let her touch them. Remember when I cut her mane? <laughs> yeah, remember. Who remembers? Gabby's trying to tail. All right, Gabby, you're all right. Bring the ponies in. I accidentally had like residue of that pine tar on my hands, and it stinks. And I gave her a, a treat, and now she's. Pine tar, now she's freaking out. Ah, oh, Gracie. Let me see if I can explain this. So, uh, when the farrier was here the other day, he, like a week ago, or a week and a half ago, he noticed that Chino had a tiny little bit of a separation on his heel bulb, which is really common in this weather. And I have a friend that's a farrier, and she was explaining to me, like, the worst thing for horses' hooves is when, like, you have a deep freeze, and then it thaws, and then it deep freezes, and then we had that, like, this over the last week, because they're hooves expand and then contract in the cold and it just causes like a lot of trouble. So anyway, he had this little tiny separation of his of his heel bulb, which is like basically, she was explaining to me that every kind of like crack and everything that happens to your horse's feet, like cracks and, and separations and stuff, are almost always like from bacteria, which we know that because we've had that with Storm before. I've never really known how to treat all that. Like I have treated it, I put like stuff on for thrush, but there's just so much more you can do. And so I've been learning about it and it's been working. So I'm gonna show you. This, all this white stuff here is Penny shedding. See it? Like all that hair right there has to come out. Okay. And it's annoying because it never all comes out in one, in one brushing. I promise I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna to do to her feet. Let's let's do the test, Sophie. All right, I think it's still too long, Sophie. Well, someone else needs to trim it. All right, bring me the scissors and I'll trim it because someone else. Like it literally sits on the ground still. So he's afraid to cut it. <laughs> Last time she cut her mane, it didn't go well. You're a little bit chubby, pony. All right, it still looks really long, but I took so much off of it. So let's just see here. It goes right down to there. Should it come up a little bit? Like just above the feathers or go right with the feathers? With the feathers. All right, well, then we might be good. Take her for a walk. Let's see. Time to show you a miracle. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl, yeah. Look at that, you guys. Good girl, good girl, yeah. Girl, yeah, yeah. She didn't like it, but yeah. That's my penny pickle, that's what we've been working on. All right, let's see Gracie. All right, Gracie. Let's see Gracie. <laughs> Yeah, you can like, Gracie is not a spooky pony. <laughs> she is. Very no, she's not though. You know, they would be looking hairy. 
hairy little Look ponies. I know, it might not be like a big deal for some of you guys, but we were not born into horses, isn't it? Oh, you gotta brush your hair, she's got some knots. I know, oh my god. So this is like a huge deal for us, like a huge deal. Penny. So uh, basically our ponies have, some of our ponies have a little bit of uh, separation in their heel bulb because of the weather and because of the mud, and Penny is one of them. And so I've been learning about this pine tar and how to use it for so many different reasons. It's We've done something different to heal the cracks and it's working really well on Penny. She has a crack on that foot and it's almost all healed up. And now I'm gonna put this pine tar on to kind of prevent any more bacteria getting in to make the cracks any worse. And also it's really good for helping the, the hooves grow in the right way. And it's just really good for horses. And we're gonna try it right now and see how it goes. All right, pray for me, people. Pray for me. So, let's see, don't judge. This is my first time. And I'm just gonna paint it up here and then let it drip down and I'm gonna paint it all the way around. It's actually super enjoyable. <laughs> All right, so that's what it looks like. I'm gonna finish it up. You guys, I'm gonna do every single foot. And I think I do all the feet, or at least I just do the front feet. Do I do all the feet? Anyway, that's what we're trying. I'm gonna keep you guys updated and tell you how it, how it goes. Gracie's getting her hair brushed. And that is what it looks like. Don't you know you have to clean up the poop before you work with your horse? Take her halter off, and she literally came to me so I could take her halter off. Yeah, she's so smart. Um, you guys saw me jumping Willow, and I did some pole work too. And it wasn't that high of jumps. So, literally, doing stuff with Penny, like weather can be really hard on horses' feet, you guys know that. But having like things that you can do to combat the bacteria and stuff that's in the mud that can cause problems like having something to do to try and fix it through the muddy season is feels so rewarding and satisfying to me like at least I'm doing something to like try and keep them healthy and all of them actually have pretty healthy hooves just she now has a small crack and then this guy this girl has a small has a bigger crack but hers is almost healed up today was amazing to me because I learned how to treat our horses feet and keep them and keep them safe during wet, wet and muddy season. And also because Sam saw how devastated I was when my flag got crushed and he went ahead and ordered us two more flags. And that to me is such a thoughtful, amazing gift and wonderful. And now we have three flags. What's the good part about today for you? Uh, getting matching pants? Getting more pants. Getting more pants, getting matching pants with Gabby. Gabby. Uh, I love pants and I like shopping for clothes now. So, Gabby, what was your highlight for today? Sleeping. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful?